Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sumit and today I'm going to discuss a new and very interesting topic in Salesforce LWC component. So today I'm going to talk about the canvas in LWC. So we'll be going to discuss what is, what's the use of a canvas and how can we use a canvas uh, component in LWC in order to capture the signature and save that signature as an attachment to a particular report. So before we begin, don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel if you haven't done till so far. And also don't forget to press the bell icon to get the latest updates with the videos. So today we'll be going to discuss the capture signature with using Canvas in LWC. With the power of HTML5 Canvas, we can enable users to create their digital signatures directly within the Lightning Web component. So it's a modern, intuitive way to gather signatures in a paperless world. So, you know, these days everything is going online and even we will be adding records also in our online CRM solutions. So we would like to capture the user's signature. And once they sign up, once they, uh, once they sign up and click on save, so their signatures will be saved as a attachment with that particular record. Let me show you a live example for this, and then I will show you the actual implementation of that. So the scenario is like this. As you can see, I got an account record here, let's say Apex account three. And when I open an Apex account three, I'm getting a section here for new signature section, and I will be getting a canvas. So the, the one box which you can see right now, this is like a canvas. And we are here what we can do here with the help of my mouse, I can draw i can uh, i can uh, draw my signature so let's suppose i just want to draw my signature so just for testing purpose i just write submit here and click on save so if i click on clear the signature will get cleared this uh, this canvas this canvas will be blank again and then we can create again for example if i clear click on clear again you can see it's uh, clear it's it's blank and we can uh, we can add our signature again. For example, see this. And when I click on save, you can see it says the signature has been saved successfully. And when I scroll down, we can see it's added as an, it adds an attachment. See, this is the attachment I just got. So this functionality will be very useful these days. We used to do online shopping, so we used to place our orders. And if you uh, and at the time of the delivery of the order, we we just put our sign. So uh, instead of uh, signing physically, what we can do, we can sign in on. We can sign up on their device, and once we click on save, our signature will be saved uh, with that particular order. It will map with that particular order. And I'm pretty much sure that you might have done this. From, uh, you might have done this a lot of times, couple of times. Every time you place an order, and uh, uh, whenever the delivery boy deliver the products to you, we used to sign up for the confirmation that we have received the order successfully, and we just put our sign or we just put a name and save that. So this is the requirement, and uh, in order to achieve this, I will be creating a new LWC component, and on that LWC component, I will be adding a canvas component. So let's begin. How do I do? How do we do this? So for this, I will be going to start it from the scratch. So here you can see this is my Visual Studio, and in this Visual Studio code, I started with creating an FX class and the class name I said as attachment FX class. Let me give you an overview about this class. In this class, I just created a couple of functions. So the first function I created is the add signature function, which is aura enable. And then I created two more functions, one for save record file and one for, uh, once for save record file and one for add an attachment. And from the add signature, we will be going to call the save record file or we will be going to call the attachment. So as you can see in this add signature, I will be getting three parameters as an input, the record ID, data, and the document type. 
And first of all, I validate if it is blank, I'll skip it. I, we are not doing anything. We can return it or we can just display a confirm. We can just display a message. If the document type is an attachment, that means the document we will be going to send. If it's an attachment, if you want to add, if you want to add it as an attachment, then I'll just call the add attachment, the record ID and the data I just wanted to attach. And if the document type is the document type is SF file, so I will be going to call the save record file function with the pass with passing record ID and the data. And in the add attachment function, I just call the attachment process and here we'll be adding an attachment. So attachment ATT is equal to new attachment and the name, I said the name, body, content type, parent ID, the, which uh, like that attachment is going to map to, uh, to which parent account. That's a related record ID uh, to the parent ID, you can say, and insert an attachment. And in order to save the record file, I simply save the record and it will be using the content document link. So basically we will be using two classes here, content version in order to tag the, in order to track the content version and the content document link in order to generate the link for hyperlink. Once it, once it is, once it is added as an attachment, so it is, it helps to generate the link. So these two, these are the, this is my Apex class. This is the Apex class I created. And uh, after that, let's, uh, let's open my, let me show you the component I've created at signature LWC component. So in this signature component, first of all, let me show you the meta.xml file. And in this meta.xml file, I just said is exposed to true and the target I set only for the lightning record page. So I'm not going to place it on uh, on any other location except the record page because I just wanted to access it from within the record. So therefore, record page. After that, in the HTML, I just created a lightning card. And in the lightning card, uh, I just added a spinner also if it, while it is loading or while it is opening. So it's, uh, we'll just add the spinner in order to uh, display the spinner if it's taking if it is taking time to load. And uh, division class, this is the place, uh, this is the, this is a division class absolute center where actually we'll be designing, where we'll be, uh, we'll be drawing our signature. And we got two buttons, the lightning two buttons, one for, uh, once to save the, uh, once to save the signature as an attachment. And the second is to clear the canvas. So these are the components I place on my LWC component HTML. Now, as you can see, uh, whenever we click on a button, uh, it should call a function called handle signature. And whenever we click on clear button, it should call the handle signature clear function. So these two functions I have declared in the JS. So let me show the JS class. And in the JS class, first of all, I add a reference to the apex function, add signature function. Then the show toast event in order to display the confirmation or the error message and the refresh, refresh event in order to refresh the whole page. Then I declare the save type canvas. These are the variables I declare. And uh, there is one property called record ID. It is used to track the current record ID to the, to the parent record ID, you can say. So if I, uh, because I'm going to add, place this component on uh, an account page. So whenever I click on an account name, so whatever is the record ID for that particular account, that will be stored into this record ID. So this is used to track the parent record ID and show loading is equal to false. So by default, it is false. Then I declare a constructor. And in this constructor, we have four, four uh, templates, basically the event listener, the mouse down, mouse up, mouse, mouse, mouse move and mouse out. Uh, I'm going to bind it, binding in terms of why we are binding it, because as you can see, the canvas one, when we draw the canvas, with inside the canvas, when we draw, so we'll be drawing it through the mouse. So whenever we're moving on the mouse inside the canvas, or we'll be uh, drawing into that canvas. So that is called binding one. Render callback. Uh, it is used to display the rendered callback. It is used to display the canvas and handle mouse down, handle mouse up, handle mouse move and mouse end. So you can see I have I have handled this and mouse down. I just uh, I just get the current position, handle mouse up, so prevent default, handle mouse move, prevent default, and with where, wherever we uh, like wherever we are moving, it will be calling that current. It will be getting the current location and this dot draw. So you can see whenever we're moving the mouse without 
uh, whenever we'll be moving our mouse without uh, you can say without leaving the down uh, without leaving the button so what happened it will start drawing and draw is a function it's a custom function this is a draw function which helps us to draw so here we just control the line cap line width stroke style and from current position to the current pos current position x dot current position y so from previous to current position will be drawing a line actually we'll be drawing it a line and that like a stroke will be like will be drawing it. and uh, then we used to have you know this is the function to get the current positions then finally uh, we have a function called handle signature clear handle clear function handle refresh function and show toast function and whenever we click on the say handle signature but uh, whenever we click on the handle signature button so what it is going to do this will be going to save the record as an attachment so handle signature and here i just said this show loading is equal to true context dot global composite operation is equal to destination over fill style is equal to this and the fill rectangle is equal to the height and width and image url is this and the image data will be this where it is going to store and finally what happened we'll pass the information the uh, record ID will be the current record, the parent ID, data will be the image data, and the document type will be the save type. What type, and this document type will be save type, which we have declared somewhere here. That what type of document we will be going to store. Finally, and once the result gets saved, so I just call this show toast and I pass a message here. So it is going to display a message title and the uh, so like this way, we commit this operation. So let me do one thing. Let me deploy this. So I'm going to deploy this on my Salesforce org one more time. So I just deployed it into a different org. And we will be going to see whether it's, it's successfully deployed or not, or it is visible or not. So therefore, let me navigate there. Let me visit there. And I'll just open sales application. And I will be going to add my component over there. So sales account object. And let's say about 358 INC. Open any record, express that any record and click on edit page. And the component name is add signature LWC. That's the name of my component. So I'm going to add that component somewhere here on my uh, record page. So, so let me drag and drop this component at signature LWC. I drop this component, save this, save the changes back. And finally, we will be going to test it. So right now, if you can see, do we have any attachments? So we don't have any attachments here at present. So right now you can see we don't have any attachment. And let me draw my signature here. So I'm just going to draw my signature, Sumit Goyal, and click on save. And uh, is that saved? You can see the signature captured has been saved successfully. And if I just scroll down, I can see the attachment. And not only this, if I click on this, if I click on this attachment, if I click on this file, so you can see, I can see my, I can preview my attachment. So I can see my attachment. So this is the attachment. If I, if I want, I can download this attachment. So that's the way we can use, we can use the canvas in LWC component in order to capture the signature, in order to see, uh, in order to capture the signature from the user, the live signature from the user and save it as an attachment. So that's all in this video, everyone. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe also if you have any questions or any queries you can post your comments in comment box do feel free to contact us if you require any customized training on salesforce lwc's or integration we would be happy to help you with that keep watching keep coding have a nice day thank you everyone bye